Ghost or 2015's is my Volvo. Uh, and I created this design. Uh, on the upgrades, instead of putting a turbo on it, I put its corners when you're drifting. So, and I'll get to tuning in a second. I was just gonna bring something up. Uh, see, I'm using a stock engine block. But I basically am getting everything I can get out of that block. So, and you can see, like, my speed does not increase. Even, but, uh, I would have a little bit more, uh, horsepower. And, uh, better acceleration in the corners. But, uh, I, I also can just buy a clutch when it comes out, when I unlock it to do that. You see and uh, see the upgrades are tricky too because some of them will actually like not benefit you that much as others would if you work it out but um, for drifting essentially want to get uh, drift plus tires or uh, if you want to control drift you can actually just get uh, mid drift and I use those on my Mustang and uh, it's actually one of my cars I use for like mainly sprint races and things uh, I have a Corvette that I use for my really hard races but uh, yeah the uh, mid drift tires they're great for just racing and drifting if you like a really good control like stiff drift uh, but uh, and then you want to get a differential for drifting as well so you can lock it so that both tires will spin at the same time and then you want to get a suspension just because you don't want to fucking like bounce all over the place you know you can stiffen it up or soften it if you like it loose, you know, if you like it like that. Uh, and then for the exhaust, you know, you just want to get the best exhaust you can get, obviously. And uh, yes, uh, you just mainly though, uh, power is important, but it's how you use that power in drifting. Not really. Uh, how fast you're going but uh it is you do need a fast car because when you start getting into the drift races that are <clears throat> the uh drift train races uh and they're hard like you got to keep up with them and they're fast in the corners like you got to stay with the drift train and uh here we go tuning so once you <coughs> get your upgrades for drifting, when you what you wanted to do, uh, mainly, don't worry about the thing up at the top. You know, like that's cheat. It's for cheaters, and it don't really work as well as it does if you just do it yourself. But uh, your steer response when you're drifting, you want to have a fast steer response, and your uh, steer range, you want it to be extremely wide. Because if it's narrow, imagine you're going down a highway and you got a pencil, okay, in the middle of your tires when you turn it, okay, and it'll, when it's narrow, it will not turn as far, like, think of it more like a wide turn, you, you can almost like turn a 180 degree angle with the pencil in the middle, okay, and it turns, okay. And that's what your body of the car is going to do. The whole entire car is going to be on that uh, the line of that pencil. Okay, think of it like that. So you want it really wide, and then your brake, uh, uh, your uh, don't worry about this stuff. Launch control, I got it off. Uh, differential stability assist, it's on. I I'm not even sure about it. Uh, I know what the differential does, but we'll get to the differential actually right now. Uh, I got mine almost all the way locked because I really want both tires to spin in the corner because I'm drifting. And 
that's what you want so it'll break loose and uh, downforce yeah uh, see I got a wings but you don't want a whole lot of downforce because uh, when you're going really fast and drifting uh, the downforce will kind of push your car down and it'll cause you to gain more traction uh, instead of breaking loose and drifting uh, your brake strength, you want it to kind of be strong. Get uh, really good brakes if you your brake bias. Uh, you don't want to turn this up too much because it throws the weight of the car to the front. And if it's up all the way, you'll end up doing 180s when you get into the corner. Nobody tells you stuff like that, but I'll tell you things like that. Uh, also, your traction, tire traction. See, I got the uh, Drift Plus, so it's less tire traction. And the handbrake strength, you want it to be kind of weak because, again, if you turn the strength up on the uh, brake, it's kind of like the brake bias. Uh, it'll shift the weight to the front of the car. It, you'll end up doing a 180 when you go into your turns, so you don't want it really strong. Some people think that you would want it strong, you know. And then your spring stiffness, I got mine a little stiff. They're kind of, it's kind of neutral though. I don't want to be too stiff in the corners uh, that's just how I like mine and then my sway bars they're a little soft because I do have some roll so I have you know once again you don't want to just break loose and have no control in those corners so that's why you gotta have your uh, your roll bars so your car kinda your body rolls with your uh, suspension and everything like that and then your nitrous uh, Oh yeah, I just bought some nitrous for this. Uh, I'm turning the power up, kind of, just in case, you know, because this is not a race car. It, uh, I really need more power than the duration. Uh, that'll work, but burn it. Uh, so that's how you set up your car for drifting, anyways. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my car and uh, I'll actually this is gonna be actually a pretty long video considering uh, that it's just an informational hey. video <coughs> so uh, I guess the next part would be for speed so I'll get my Mustang this is my Mustang uh, this is also my design see this is my Marvel car <laughs> pretty badass I'm actually proud of it uh, I did the original version was not chromed out like this so this is different and I had a different body kit on it uh, but now it looks pretty cool and uh, it looks even better now this is like my uh, next the special edition uh, paint scheme of the Marvel version that I made but uh, anyways uh, we'll get to upgrades so yeah you really want to have everything balanced out um, as you can see I'm not really worried about the handbrake as much on this or brakes and I've got uh, balanced drift tires because this car does break it's kind of like you know it's a real real wheel drive car and like it just it kind of drives better in a drifty kind of way but for speed but it's kind of in between I would it's leaning more towards like a, a drag style though a speed style of drifting like you're racing you're not really drifting but there's drifting in it <laughs> uh, but uh, mainly though you want to uh, really rely on power so like basically get your air filter cooling system because you're going to be heating things up maybe you're going to be hitting high rpms 24 7 just like in the drift car but uh instead of a supercharger you want to get a turbo for this and uh of course get your ignition and electric system up as high and your ecu you want it bounce out and we're hitting high speeds all the time like I'm going to be fucking coming out of corners in third not realizing bam 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 so I want a really good engine block and good uh, camshaft and everything like great exhaust great clutch like hit high speeds and um, get uh, 
maximum nitrous suspension everything you can differential but now that's just the upgrades the tuning this is where the tuning comes in uh, it's really important so we'll start at the top uh, so uh, right now I got my tire pressure is just my front tire pressure is up a little indifferent I was messing with that because you know but your steer response you want it you don't want it to be as fast because you know you're gonna be going high speeds all the time like down long highway roads and if you turn real fast you turn into a fucking you know a rail or something so you don't want it to be as fast you do still want to have a wider uh, steer range like I said narrow is not that great um, it's then you still the highways are they get pretty wide and in, in the racing you're not always going to be on a, you don't want your car to just naturally break free like you want it to try to stick more so we'll get we'll get to that uh when uh, i'll tell you about uh dragging so when you're doing drag races just drag races but that's not what this game consists of but some places you need to drop like that and that's why you'll have to use like grip plus tires that's all you'll have to do don't change your uh, tuning or anything like that just put grip plus tires on for that race that's all you gotta do but anyways here we go uh, your differential for just racing not drifting you want to have it more open than anything that's important and your downforce like I said you want a little more downforce that way high speed you got more traction and control you won't just break loose it'll hold the back of your car down on the ground because if you notice when you get in high speeds the back end likes to spin when you get in corners really fast like wide corners sometimes it'll break loose but if you have a lot of downforce it'll stop you from doing that and uh, your brake strength like I said, I like mine set up more like drifting when I'm racing. That way, if I have to drift to get out of a situation or dodge a car, I can, bam, drop a gear, brake, or brake and drop a gear, and fucking, I'm out of there, dude. I grip, and I turn out of the corner, and I'm good. I don't wreck or nothing. But that's me. You might not want to brake loose. You might want to have less brake strength. And then I keep the brake bias neutral, of course. Tire traction. If you if you prefer not to brake loose at all, though, you can put plus grip tires on, and you can fight the drift. But you want to uh, have a really wide turning. Uh, see, if you're using plus grip grip tires, I promise you, you want to have a wide steering range. You don't want it to be as narrow. Unless, unless you are doing uh, specifically uh, really straight driving down narrow roads. That's the only reason you would do that. But anyways, let's get back to this. Uh, brake bias, neutral, tire tracks, handbrake. Uh, mine's weak still. Like I said, I like to, uh, if I have to use my handbrake, but usually you won't have to use it that much if you're uh, just doing a good old race, not a drifting race. But sometimes you do. Uh, sway bars, mine are kind of stiff, as you can see. Actually, and I found that that helps a lot for uh, control with the speed. And then my nitrous is power, of course. I'm leaning more towards power, actually. And uh, that's it for basically everything. I basically told you everything. But now, uh, I'll show you this paint scheme. And I'll show you my Corvette and how I've got it set up. <laughs> Personally, for like just racing. Or uh, just speed, basically, like more grip than anything. It's not really set up for anything else. But I'm telling you, like, too much grip, it just don't work out really for me. Like, and I, 
I feel like this is the way this game was made to drive. So, uh, yeah, see my sway bars haven't done anything with them on this car. It just sets really well the way it is. It's a car, some of the cars drive different too, so that's the main thing. Once you find your car, but these cars here, this is how I found they drive the best. My brake strength is toward more. Uh, basically, it's the same type of setup, except uh, not as. It's just tweak a little bit different because the speed and the agility of the car in the corners. You know, it's just a little bit different. This car right here is more high end and. Uh, it stays high RPMs like it can hold it can hold its uh, stream of power a lot better it's more fluid through the gears even in the Mustang but uh, this right here though this this car is actually beautiful wait till you hear it I'll actually drive it <laughs> I'll drive all of them I mean the video is basically complete you can go back and just look uh, uh, whatever I said so yeah I'm Liam Minus uh, this is my YouTube live stream this video will be posted on my YouTube channel as too so that's pretty cool I'm still uh, progressing through the story. I have had this game multiple times on different systems. And uh, the last time I had the uh, digital version, I downloaded it. This car is not made for speed. It's made for drifting. So that's that. That was a pretty interesting little run. I like that. Hello, James Catalan. Cat Catalan. Uh, this is the Volvo uh, 242. It's 1975. It's actually a pretty cool car. I like it. it uh, I didn't put a turbo on it or anything for a really or a supercharger on it for a really long time. And uh, it actually does really well. Oh shit. He's already gone, dude. Damn. I didn't see him. I was driving. I, I was a little late on that. Uh, I'll get better at this, though. Uh, now it is time to drive the Mustang. My instructions are so much better, I feel like, than a lot of other people's. They're really direct and uh, not misleading like other people's. So, 
but thank you for watching. Thank you, Jamie Catalan. Hi, that said hi. And what car is that? I got the Fox Buddy Body Mustang, the 1990 model, and it's badass. I love this car. This is the only Ford car I like besides, uh, excuse me, uh, the Ford GT. Wait, I mean, the fucking, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta leave the garage. I forgot how to leave the garage for a second. This is all exciting for me. I never really show people my uh, racing games or nothing. But I've always had a thing with them. I love the designs and stuff. But this, one, it don't have a whole lot of design options. But you can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I really like Forza. This thing, wherever you steer it, it will put you in a matter of minutes. I got the cops. Or a matter of, like, milliseconds. I don't know what happened. I think my finger slipped. I do kind of have bad eyesight, but usually I got pretty good. My other car would have broke loose in that corner. That is the Mustang. And, um, yeah. It wasn't the best run. But, uh, did hit some high speeds. Okay, so it stopped broadcasting, and I don't know what happened, so I'm going to go ahead and do the Corvette, like I'm going to just go on. So this is the Corvette, I'm going to drive it, <sighs> I'll show you the difference in the setups, just how the different how they drive different cars drive different so you have to set them up a little bit different so like sometimes if you can't get what you want out of like locking the differential uh you might be able to change the air pressure if like the brakes ain't connecting well enough like in the place that you want them to so you got to use different parts of the car to get uh what you're tweaking to work the way you want it to and some cars just naturally drive the way you want to drive so find the car that fits you this 
this car is really fast in my opinion. I love the gas stations, how you can just pull in for a good old little fix. But you see how this car does not drift or slide nowhere near as much. Oh shit. It will run into a wall just as well as a There's a lot of fucking cops out there. I died in that crash. That is the Mustang, or not the Mustang, the Corvette though. Uh, I'll drive the Mustang one more time, just in case it didn't catch on camera. And uh, I think I'm gonna end this broadcast. That's all I really wanted to do was show people how to set up the car, because I didn't figure it out by myself, because a lot of the videos were uh, condescending. But Mine's only uh, stretched out because I drove the cars after I explained how to set them up. Just to kind of show you the difference. And uh, why you have to tweak them a little bit different, each car. suspension my uh, fucking chassis making sure it's not gonna fall apart making sure my uh, alignment's correct everything seems to be a-okay no, I don't know why they do that I never cared correctly oh man not every pole is breakable. Here, actually, I'll do a race and then I'll I'll call it. You know, you know. See if I can beat Magnus. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna do this race. I've been meaning to finish these. What I've been doing though is focusing on having a car for each uh, type of uh, racing. But I'm trying to build this car, which it's my own personal build. Like, I want to be able to beat every race with this car. But it's really hard to build it, like, to the way you want it to, because. It's hard to have speed in those corners and catch those fast guys hey. whenever uh, they're not breaking loose at all, so they're not losing their speed really. So how do you do that, you know? So I'm figuring that out. But uh, let's get this started. Okay, let's get this going. Heat three is a go.
Oh, what? See, that's that's the shit that pisses me off. Like, if you hit the E brake and you're holding the E brake in, you cannot downshift or upshift. You can't shift at all while you got the E brake. What if I had built-in paddle shifters or something? You know, like, come on. But usually, I'm like a computer when it comes to, when it comes to driving. That's how you do it, baby. That see, that was a really easy race. I just got a lot of dirt and debris on my car that scratched it up. No bad wrecks or nothing. Simple. Melissa again. You're really clawing your way through here. Well, I posted the next heat on the app, so go check it out. Bye. Losers. There went the losers. That didn't work out the way I wanted to. About to end this broadcast in a second. 